from Josh Cohen, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Vooch. Uh, can you talk about the John Lewis documentary you watched as a team before practice, what you learned about Lewis, and what it meant to watch it alongside your teammates? Yeah, so, you know, being from uh, you know, from Europe, I've, I've never really been uh, – I haven't been familiar with you know, uh, John Lewis and what he's done. And obviously by watching the documentary and doing some research before and after, now obviously he's had a huge impact, uh, you know, uh, on the black community, you know, his, uh, what he was able to do in the 60s and 50s with the movement you know, at a very difficult time, uh, you know, just shows, uh, you know, um, how big of a human being he, he was. And uh, so he had a huge impact, uh, you know, very, uh, it was very, you know, very good documentary, especially you know, for me to kind of educate myself, not knowing as much, you know, about the American history and everything that was going on here at that time. So it uh, definitely educated me and uh, actually, interested me to learn more about it and uh, you know, educate myself even more, which I think is very important not only for myself, but for all people that you know, weren't familiar with you know, uh, the history. And uh, so it was, a, you know, it was nice from the team to set that up for us. And I think it was very uh, you know, good to learn more about you know, his, uh, his life and what he's done for, for african American. Dan Wokey, Los Angeles Times. Hey, Booch. Um, you guys play basketball. Tomorrow, even though it's a scrimmage, you get to see another team. It's the first time anybody will have seen two NBA teams play in over 130 days. I guess two questions. How good is the basketball going to be, do you think? And secondly, what, what do you think it'll be for people who get to see it? How exciting will it be just to see, even if it is a scrimmage, just to see two NBA teams run up and down the court together? Yeah, I think even for us players, you know, we're going to want to see you know, how it is to be back out there after so long. You know, it's, it's very different because in the summer, usually you do scrimmage. Some of us play national team. And you still have some type of play. So when you come and play the exhibition game, you know, you're familiar. You know, you have something. Now it's been a very long time since we played. You know, we scrimmage a little bit, you know, between you know, each other in practice. So it'll be different. Uh, but I think that, you know, everybody's going to be very excited to be back and play and just compete. And also it's just, you know, a scrimmage. I think it'll, it'll be fun to just play against somebody that – different team uh and i think that for the fans i think it's going to be i think people are going to be excited to, to watch some basketball uh, although it is exhibition you know it'll still be fun to, to watch a little bit of you know of a uh, you know, basketball going on after such a long time i think that people you know during these times are kind of having some sports on tv and you know, cheer for somebody and just get their minds off everything that's going on in the world so i think it'll be, uh, you know, it'll be great to be back you know we look forward to it and hopefully we can you know play the game and give something to, to, to enjoy. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Nicola, how are you feeling about your own individual game, how sharp you, you are, and uh, the areas that you are hoping to improve before the start of the regular season? I wouldn't call it a regular season, but uh, I've been uh, I've been actually feeling pretty good you know, during this uh, camp or whatever we had the last two weeks. I've actually been feeling pretty good. Uh, even in scrimmages and practices, just you know everything I've been doing. Actually, you know my body feels good. I feel like I'm in, my conditioning is at a good level. Obviously, you know the rhythm and everything. You know on the court once you're playing is going to take up some time, and especially at game speed is always a little different. You know, when you play in practice, when you play against team people that are familiar. You know it's on defensive end, you know to play, so it's a little different than when you actually get out there against a, a different team. But I think you know it'll be a good. Good test for us to see where we are, you know, conditioning wise, which I think it's you know very important now to see that, and then also you know, kind of see where we are as a team, what we need to work on. Same for me, different kind of see where my game is at, you know, how I feel out there, you know, what what can I do this next tomorrow, the exact next week or so before we start playing um, to kind of you know get a feel for it. So tomorrow's kind of going to be like kind of like going to be a test for everybody, you know, individually and as a team to see where we are. David Steele, Fox Sports, Florida. Hi, Booch. Wanted to ask you about the uh, the arena. Have you seen? Have you, have you been in the arena? Have you been able to shoot the ball? Uh, see what it's going to be like for tomorrow, and if so, how different is it from from playing in in the kind of gyms you played in your your entire life? Uh, actually, we haven't seen it, so we we're looking forward to seeing it tomorrow and uh, see what it's going to be like. And also, you know, it's going to give us an idea. You know, what it's going to be like once we started the real games, uh, get a feel for it. So 
obviously there's going to be no fans and everything, so it's going to be a little, you know, uh, different. But you know, it's going to be good for us to get that uh, tomorrow, that game tomorrow, so we can uh, get it. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Vooch, uh, we've talked to a number of guys about what they've done with their off days. You see some guys fishing, some guys golfing. Uh, but for you, what are you what are you doing in your off time and, and how are you making the most of it? Well, actually, I've been golfing as well. Uh, I'm not a big fishing guy. You know, I don't really feel good. Getting the fish out of the water, you know, making it, you know, something or whatnot. It's not going back it's not a great experience for me, so I don't do that. But the golfing part, I just started during the quarantine time. Uh, you know, obviously golfing was, uh, you know, uh, you could do that in Florida. Uh, so did a little bit of that. Uh, I'm not very good. Uh, it's pretty frustrating, uh, you know, being good at sports in general for me, you know, since I was a kid. And now there's you know, this new sport I actually suck at. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to, you know, Stay calm and not get frustrated. But actually, I've been enjoying it a lot. I can, you know, now I can understand why so many people enjoy it. Why so many people love playing, especially you know a lot of athletes. So, you know, just learning, having fun. It was good just you know, go out there with all my teammates, you know, playing for a couple hours, you know, being outside, you know, doing something different. So that was fun. And uh, other than that, you know, uh, we have a pool in the, in the hotel, sitting by the pool, you know, running with some of the other guys from other teams, reading, watching movies, playing video games. Uh, do, do, do different things, stay uh, occupied, and then also uh, a lot of FaceTime, obviously, with my family. All right, time for a couple more. Dante Marcatelli, Fox Sports Florida. Hi, Booch. It's good to see you. Uh, I, I guess my first question is, uh, how are you holding up overall? You've been in there for a couple of weeks. It's, it's also good to know you and I have the same golf game, so that's encouraging for me. But uh, overall progress from this team, have you seen progress? Have you seen change? Have you seen growth in the last couple of weeks? Just kind of get your thoughts there. Yeah, so I actually have been doing pretty good. I think, you know, the, the bubble, uh, I think everything in, in there has been you know, getting better as, uh, you know, it's kind of we've been here, you know, uh, you know each, each day, each week, you know, uh, things that were maybe, you know, at first weren't settled and now it's good. And I think it was just little things that, you know, we all had to go through first because it's the first time for, every, for everybody to go through something like that. So. I think there's been you know, good experience so far for everybody. Uh, no complaints. I mean, honestly, all the things that I've been through that NBA has organized, you know, the All-Star game, the, the, the international camps, the international games that we've played. I mean, there's never been any issues, always been at the highest level. So same here, you know, especially when you think about that it only took them a month, two months to set this all up. It's, it's pretty impressive. So and now we even have a barbershop on site, so which they did in 48 hours, which was also very impressive. Uh, as far as the, the team, uh, I think you know, we've been making strides. Uh, I think we've been, you know, the guys conditioning wise, which I think was, I think everybody's kind of main concern how it's going to be like once we start playing. I think we've been pretty good. We've been able to get some good scrimmages in and compete. Uh, obviously, you know, we still have to figure out you know, our, our rhythm and how we're going to, you know, play out there all together on both ends of the floor. That's going to take time, but. You know, these three exhibition games, obviously against very good teams, are going to kind of give us a chance to see where we at and what we need to work on, and uh, you know, just take it day by day. I think I think it's you know it's hard because usually when you start a season, you kind of know okay, like it takes about five, seven, eight, ten games to kind of you know every, everybody get kind of on the same page. So where now it's been so long and where we haven't really had a chance to do much, especially except practice individually. Um, so it's, it's going to be a little different, but like I said, it's, it's new for everybody, it's same for everybody. So it's just going to take it day by day and see how, how, we, how we do. Okay, time Thanks, for two more. Uh, Josh Miller. Hey, Booch, going into tomorrow's game, do you have any goals or certain things that you want to work on during the exhibition game? You said against Kurt. Going into tomorrow's scrimmage, do you have any goals or certain things that you want to improve or work on during the scrimmage? Uh, just mainly for me, it's going to be to see where I'm at, you know, conditioning wise, you know, how, how I'm able to do, you know, when we really start playing up and down and the regular NBA game, how, how it's going to be. All the things tomorrow, it's only 10 minute quarters, so it's going to be a little different. But just kind of that's going to be mainly for me to see how my body feels out there. And then, uh, you know, just, just play my game, you know, get back in rhythm, get, you know, feel for it, you know, just play with my teammates, you know, on both ends of the floor, see how, how I feel. And uh, that's going to be the main thing for me, nothing too specific. Okay, last one for Vooch goes to Josh Robbins. Vooch, we know how uh, renowned as a uh, suitcase packer you are, how diligent and organized you are, but I'm curious, what are some of the things you may have had either 
ordered it ordered in in terms of from Amazon or dropped off that have helped make you feel at home there? So like I said, I'm very organized. So before we came in, I made sure to don't forget anything, which I did. And actually, uh, you know, had everything written, written on a piece of paper. I went, you know, piece by piece, made sure everything was in my suitcase. And uh, so there was no mistakes there. And then the only thing that I, I had I had to order in was uh, the, this uh, video game that I played, Formula One. It only it came out on July 10th, so I couldn't get it earlier. But that's the only thing that I had to order in. But that was because you know, of uh, the release date. That was different. Other than that, everything was set in advance to make sure you know nothing is missing once I get in here. Because I didn't, I didn't really know how it's gonna be. You know, are, are we gonna be able to get packages or not? How it's all gonna work? So I didn't want to know leave anything up to you know, the chains. I want to make sure. Everything is, is, is here with me that I really need. Thank you. Thank you, Vooch. You're welcome. Thanks, guys.